chronic phase of uh, chikungunya is a persistence of rheumatic manifestation coming just after the um, acute stage. I mean, most patients are symptomatic at the beginning, in the acute stage, and then in the, after three weeks, most of them still suffer. This is what we call post-acute stage, and it goes up to three months. And then after three months, we say exactly chronic. So in fact, we say persisting symptoms, rheumatic symptoms and general symptoms. The duration of chronic stage depends on the age of the patient. The older you are, the longer you will suffer. If you are a female, it will be harder if you are older than 40. And if you already have osteoarthritis or joint disorder, you may suffer more. The duration may probably be uh, diminished by uh, prompt adequate treatment with anti-inflammatory drug. I mean non-anti-inflammatory drugs may diminish the complication in the tendons and in the joints. During the acute stage, acetaminophen, rest, avoid steroids and after 10 12 days we should use non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs at this time no place for steroids the patient may also use acetaminophen and physiotherapy this is very important to diminish the overuse of the inflammatory joints and as you know, many joints are inflamed with chikungunya. When I say many, this is hands and feet and shoulder and knees and ankle and wrist. So this is very debilitating. And we need to explain to the patient that they have to rest. And most of times they have to, start to stop working because of the pain and this protects them from and overuse. So rest to avoid overuse, anti-inflammatory drugs and physiotherapy. If you do this, you can improve the patient significantly. And you have to do this for weeks. This is not one week treatment. This is six to 12 weeks of anti-inflammatory drugs. If it doesn't work in some patient, you may use low doses of steroids to have a step. This is the time you have to use steroids when you are facing a refractory patient uh, non-susceptible to the NSID. In some unfortunate patient they develop synovitis, I mean real joint inflammation. Most of the patients have tendon inflammation but when we have synovitis and the not, and no efficacy of the anti-inflammatory drugs, this is the time to show the patient to rheumatologist. There is in five, two to five percent an outcome to a chronic inflammatory rheumatism, sometimes destructive. And we need to treat this patient with specific drugs that rheumatologists know. And for all patients, physiotherapy and self-rehabilitation is essential. And do not forget that this patient has to be followed up for a long period and we need to assess the psychic and social burden of the disease in each case because it is a hard disease for the chronic stage. In my experience, in France, some uh, patients had to stop for months, more than six months, because they couldn't work, I mean, with their hands and their feet. They couldn't carry kids when they were working in kindergarten, for example.
this is possible to improve the quality of life. This is important to understand that the earlier the physician, the doctor, the general practitioner, the physiotherapist is involved in the treatment, the better the patient will feel and we will improve his quality of life after a good clinical assessment. What are we talking about? We are talking about tendonitis, we are talking about synovitis, we are talking about tenosynovitis. And if we understand what the patient is suffering from, we give an adequate treatment, what I say, what I call the post kit, the post chikungunya kit treatment. I mean painkillers, anti-inflammatory drugs, physiotherapy, psychological support and work adaptation and you, you will improve patient and the, the earlier you act the better the patient will be and early. If you, we wait for months, I mean you wait for six months to start adequate treatment, the patient will need six months more to, to go back to a previous clinical status.